Kendall. It's, uh, it's, it's lovely to be here, and uh, it's festival time again, which of course means reviews. And uh, I, I just tend to feel that reviews tend to go a little bit too far. You know, like I walked past a movie poster recently, and uh, they had like a movie quote at the top of it, like one of those review quotes. And the review said, uh, brain achingly cool. <laughs> and I, I just don't think anybody actually says that. You know, that, that's not, I've never seen anybody walk out of a cinema just going, that movie was so cool, I have a headache. <laughs> Nobody, you don't say to people, do you, do you want to go and see a movie tonight? How about something brain-achingly cool? <laughs> well, no, actually, I was thinking more tit-piercingly melancholic. <laughs> and I saw this thing on the news, and apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently Australia is now the third most obese nation in the world. And it was kind of weird, they got to this statistic in the news brief where they said, now, statistically, the amount of people who are dying from obesity in the West equals the amount of people who are dying from starvation in the third world. And, you know, I heard that statistic and I just thought, God, I wonder how long it's gonna be before they start running ads in Ethiopia, <laughs> where they can sponsor a Westerner. <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't think it would have to be anything offensive, you know, that there'd just be a fat bloke on a couch <laughs> watching television and Rebecca Gibney would walk out. This is Richard. <laughs> He's three stone overweight, but for just $70 a week. Well, you could send him to the gym. <laughs> there was one charity that I was actually gonna uh, get involved in that I saw, it was called uh, the Christian Children's Foundation. And uh, the ad for that, there's this bloke and he's walking through a village and uh, he's an American bloke. And throughout the ad, he keeps on saying, for just $1 a day, the guy is huge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable sending money to a remote starving village that's run by a fat bloke. <laughs> I would like to see some pictures of the kids before he arrived. The thing is, like, everybody is incredibly self-conscious about their weight. Like, I was talking about this with a friend recently, like, she was saying, you know, like, why do you think there are so few female jockeys in horse racing? And I was thinking about it, and I think the reason why there are so few female jockeys in horse racing is purely because no woman is going to get weighed in on national television. <laughs> I'm amazed they don't have to do it by the honesty system. What, jockey number seven, how much do you weigh? Um... 52 kilos? <laughs> and just the horse going <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. Please thank her, Sarah Kendall.